<laughs> Hello, welcome back. We've got a beer today. I saw this in Sainsbury's and thought, that's a little bit interesting. I might have to review that. And it's that one. Hop Cross Bun Ale. See what they've done there. See what they've done. Hop instead of hot. Mmm, only £1.65 and it is a 500ml bottle, so it's not bad. ABV 4.5% and it says Amber Ale with subtle spice flavours. An easy drinking beer with robust bready notes brewed in the heart of Dorset. Arr! The toasted malt base provides hints of caramel and dried fruit producing colour and flavours reminiscent of a hot cross bun. This deep amber ale has notes of spice, nutmeg and cinnamon and dried fruit and pairs well with delicious pulled pork and carrot cake. Carrot cake? Serve lightly chilled. And it is. So, let's get that tipple down my neck. Right then, we've got an empty glass. We better put that right, aren't we? Hot cross bun or hop cross bun. I've got a slight hot cross bun smell to it. Let's get it in the glass. Now you can see it boring. Dark, real dark, copper colour, copper, amber, copper, copper, amber. I'd say copper rather than amber. Dark copper colour. And there is a faint, faint smell of hot cross bun. That oh. sultanas and raisins that I don't like in food. Don't mind it tasting in the beers, but not in food. Getting that, the dark fruit smell. Bit of breadiness, breadiness. And it's like hot cross bun. Mmm, don't look a bad drink. Let's get in, 165. I wouldn't say hot cross bun taste. There is a bit of that. That bread, bread flavour, breadiness coming through. Is that a word, breadiness? A bit of sweetness as well on the back end. And that sweetness is where the, the dark fruits, the raisins, the sultanas, and it's going to overflow. I'm not really picking up the cinnamon. Or the nutmeg for that matter. And I know what cinnamon should taste like. Come on, I do spice packs. It's um, it's not bad, but it's not really good either. Very slight bitterness on the back end as well. And it's got that slight breadiness, the sweetness from the dark fruits. But I would say it exactly tastes like hot cross buns. It's just like a, an ale. Nothing like... I know it is an ale, but there's nothing that makes you think, oh, hot cross buns. No, it's not there for me. And when it's cheap enough, 165 to give it a go, see what you think. Slight breadiness, a sweetness, and that dark fruits aftertaste. But I'm not getting cinnamon. I was a bit panicky about that, actually, because I'm not keen on cinnamon and drinks, like I say. But it... It's not really coming through. Do you know, it, oh, the more I drink, the more that sweetness is coming through. Look, the breadiness, I don't know, it's a new word I've invented. The breadiness is, it's quite subtle. It's not like really boom, hoppy in your face. Not to me anyway. But then again, my taste buds have probably shot it from all the chilies we eat. I don't know, rating on that, what would I give that? Um, as a standalone beer, if I hadn't seen that, 
I'd have said, do you know what? 165, it's a cheap, easy drinking ale. I'm going to give it a thumbs up because, you know, you can't fault it for that. 4.5% does the job. But I would have to give it an unsure on what they're saying there. Hop, cross, bun. It basically should taste like a hot cross bun. And it don't to me. There's not enough cinnamon coming through and needed slightly more of that bread flavour coming through. But it's drinkable. That's it's an unsure ish. Like I say, it on its own, it would have probably got a thumbs up for a cheap, easy drinking ale. Um, no frills, just slight bitterness, slight breadiness coming through, and a slight sweetness from the dark fruits. It doesn't taste like hot cross bun, so it's got. To, I'm afraid it's got to have an unsure on what it's saying on the label. But I'm not saying don't get it because it's it's not bad tasting. Maybe it needed to be warmer. It says serve chilled, but I, I think at room temp it would have probably got the flavour through a bit more. But it's not bad. It's not like sink it, as in tip it down the sink. There's only ever two beers that I've tipped away down the sink, so this ain't going to be number three. It's not bad. just not what it says it's not I'm not getting the hot cross bun flavor but i don't know i don't know what everybody else has said about it whether they're picking that up or not but i'm certainly not but it's not a bad tasting ale cheap enough bit of dark fruit bit of bitterness bit of breadiness that's it bit of everything but not a lot of anything hmm so no sure. Quick beer reviews, I don't go into it into detail. I'll tell you a lot. The common bloke down the pub tells you. And that's it. Uh, we're done on that. Thumbs up if you like the video. Comments in below if you tried it. If not, you're going to try it. It's worth a go, isn't it? 165. And subscribe if you're not. I'm going to go and finish the rest of this. Because it ain't bad. It's just not quite what I expected. Mm. Cheers.